Anitumia fare nikaenda. Uh, he bought me drink by then nilikuwa na kunywa Guinness. Mm. Akani buy a Guinness mbili. So nikakunywa. After there I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember ni nilimwanga nikiamka asubuhi. I felt pain up on my upper chin. Hapo sasa ndio nilianza kushindwa what is what went vile kurienda jana usiku eh since the other time tulipimwa na nikamwe kaona aja nitenga ama aja aja change kaona yani ile kama ni mtu wa kawaida unajua ataanza kukuambia hey sahani ni yako hii mm. kikombe ni yako usitumie hizi usitumie hizi ile mm. so nikaona kama anaweza ni accept nikiwa akijua niko hivi so then this a person for me who and your tunafaa ku move in na na huyu ndio maisha yangu inafaa kuanza hapa What would you do when you discover that a spouse that you've been living with for more than one year is HIV positive? Well, this is the story of Duncan Kimathi. He tells us how that discovery affected his marriage and how the two of them decided to forge forward. Welcome to today's episode of Candid with Yvonne. My name is Yvonne Kawira. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Mhm. Tuambie unaitwa nani na umetoka wapi? Okay, kwa majina naitwa Duncan Kimathi. Nilizaliwa Meru, let's mm. say itwa Koze mm-hmm. by my dad ni aitwa Njoroge, mm. my mom ni she is passi alipas. Mm. Aitwa Esther. Okay. Uh, nilizaliwa 1994. Um, 20th March. Ah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Na Duncan alisomea wapi? Ali grow up aji. Okay, my shangu nikiwa nikisoma ilikuwa ngumu because mm-hmm. as I was born na uh, my mom akuwa na she was a little bit busy kwa shule alikuwa anasoma so nikiwa mdogo nilelewa na my grandmother au kusaidi za meru uh, before ni ifike class 1 ndio my dad alinchukua na by then alikuwa amewa alikuwa amewa nata woman eh she is a raving mother ni mmemuita mother kwa sababu amelea kutoka hiyo time mpaka saa hii mm. yeah nilisomea shule inaitwa Meru Muslim hiyo ni secondary primary ni somea inaitwa Meru Primary School okay yeah na maisha ilikuwa aje pale nyumbani kilelewa na stepmom na babako Okay, I say it was normal mm. because my mom ali ali kama mtoto wake wa real sijaiona any ameshinya ameni ameni neglect ama kani kani daulisha so I think I ni kwa ni kwa treated like a normal child. That's nice. Yeah. So kamaliza high school. Yeah, mm-hmm. I finished my high school 2014. Mm-hmm. And uh, the year 2015 my dad alinichukua mm-hmm. kutoka Ushago akanileta huko Nairobi akanitafutia kazi kwa hoteli naitwa Blue Spring kwa around Rostas. Mm-hmm. So hapo ndio nilifanya kazi nikafanya kazi hapo na ndipo life yangu imeanza kuwa ngumu na tricky sana. Mm. Yeah. 2015 ndio maisha ilibadilika. Eh ndio ili change kila kitu because hapo sasa nimekuwa na ile freedom yenye sikuwa napata hapo kitambo wakati nilikuwa shule. Mm. Pia hakuna mtu ananichunga. You see hakuna vile nilikuwa na unatoka mahali naenda kama kutembea unabidi unaelezea umeenda wapi. So there I can go anywhere anytime I want. Hakuna mtu ananiuliza I can drink nobody is seeing me. So ni nini nilifanyika 2015? Was it bad company what happened exactly? Yeah, it was about bad company because nilijiingiza na marafiki wenye wanakunywa pombe wanatii sana. Mhm. What exactly did they tell you? Wali walikudanganya ama Okay, I met a friend of mine by then. Okay, by sikuwa na hiyo capital ya yani pesa enough za kujirentia nyumba. Mm-hmm. So ilibidi nikae na marafiki because sitaki kukaa na my dad. My dad was living in Nairobi, but sitaki kukaa na yeye unajua because niko na hiyo pressure marafiki nataka kuwa na marafiki nataka kwenda out usiku nataka kujibamba la my dad and of years ni strict so haezi nikubalia. So I had to find friends nikakae kwao. 
Oh, the friends I was living in by then, mm -hmm. I was straight. Let me say he was not straight because he wasn't. Did you know that when you moved in with him? I didn't know by then. Okay. But uh, there was a time when I saw how kind of life he lived in. I saw how familiar. So I saw what kind of life mm. I saw. So I saw I'm suspect, but I saw anything like that can happen to me. So this person, I saw it off. I saw it off. I saw it off. So I uko mm, machago na vile mimi niko napenda kutembea sana akaniambia nikamtembea machago sijustawi kuja kutembea mm. nikaenda anitumia fare nikaenda uh, he bought me drink by then nilikuwa na kunywa Guinness mm. akani buy a Guinness mbili so nikakunywa after there I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is when I was I felt pain up on my upper chin. I was standing on the what is what went with Korean. I don't know. Yeah. Did you ask him? Did you say anything? Did you say anything? Yeah, I was talking to him. 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 By Akini Akini Okot and the Olini Peleka, please do need to parat Kokoa Logi. Nay, who come in your story? Sani Liamini. Because you can expect, let me say, you can expect, you can be in a than your penia, but you can feel you chung, will you chung, son? Na sick when I talk about hospitality, because you go and you don't end up with a zazi, no more now happy. So ni linamazia yu story. Okay. Ya, after some time to remove out, tuka toka, tuka toka huko, tuka kuja huku tena Nairobi, na mtika ndelea na kazi. So, tulipo kuja after one week, after tumetoka huko, diyo nilianza kukua na some certain changes about my body, na feel affection towards men more than women. So, yu affection nye nye nikona feel towards ladies by then, it got transferred to Men. Mm. So, no, no, a certain man, no, on a masculine, have to come as well. So, no, I mean, I never tamani can spend time now. Although, she, she feel you like never have to come as a man, but mm. na feel this person and a cavizuri. Mm. When I see a lady, I don't see anything. I don't know. I mean, I couldn't have to hear you know, I'm too nimsu puna sema. I feel affection towards men more than women. Mm -hmm. I was trying to change any I can't see the melelewa to melelewa no maisha kanisa. So I I can't see as the one and kianza maisha kama yo na vile tumekuwa tukijua that thing is bad. Mm -hmm. So nilijaribu kupingana nayo but the long last ni niweza. Okay. Na nikajipata nimeingilia kwa nimeingia kwa hiyo life na nikaanza kuwa nikaanza kuwa na multi, multiple partners men kawa ninaenda hata nimetua nime have two adokeja mzee nimeenda mbali sana mm. nimeenda kuona na watu wengine they are big they are big so nime nimepata nime na multiple partners since then mm -hmm. which are men okay. yeah how would you describe your is relationship zako zote na how men it was mm. meaningful, it was any other way other than just hanging out and was, Okay, let me say, it was, because me, what I wanted to do was I wanted to pay for money, in which I wanted to pay for it. But uh, the problem is, by then, if you look at them, most of them were always drunk. Because I don't know why, like in the, according to me, they were it's because they don't want to awataki kujiona kwenye wako they don't yani they no wanajaribu kujificha who they are and they wao shida yenye wako nazo wanataka kuamini wao they are normal in which they are not so they tend to ku spend time wakiwa amelewa kujisaulisha hiyo kitu so i pesa yenye nilikuwa napata ilikuwa mingi but i used to spend it in ya ulikuwa levy 
drugs, all those kind of things. So it's going to find anything any meaningful in my yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Na ikafika wapi maisha ikabadilika uka discover kumba uko HIV positive? It was uh, on, uh, okay, it was 2019. Mm -hmm. Mwanzo mwanzo I started having some sign of change. Kwa ikienda ukojua, I feel some uchungu. Ikienda ukojua na feel uchungu, alafu ikikuja inatoka na hile uzaa. My friends kwa na sikuweza kuambia marafiki, hidianda kwa my dad. Nikamwelezea hiyo story. My dad alinipeleka hospitali fulani kwa pata au na ito wa casino. Naka niambia hiyo hospitali na dealingi na mambo za STDs. Na ya alikuwa na kwa shua hiyo ni STD. Mm -hmm. Inuichi mimi, by, by then nikuwa na mambia ni kuchawu ni uchawu. Kwa sikuwa na jua, sikuwa na jua ni nini hiyo. Waka niambia kuna mambo kama uchawi kwa familia yetu. Mm -hmm. Yo ni ugonjwa ni umepata through. Aliambia through as chana. Mm -hmm. So alinipereka hiyo hospitali. Um, a doctor who called in his stinipy moe, HIV. In which is quite sure that squat and Nikoa sure seen so at a nil cooping as cooping at two nil and call testua. At this point, who come and be a babaco comba, who come and disclose here everything. Sequel is about this, this gay's thing. Uh, yeah, okay, so cut testua. So Nika testua, uh, Illini shock, Nilikua shocked, Sana to discover I was positive. Mm. He thought the only dead sentence kwa maisha angu. Mm. So ilini shock na nilishindo pia kuambia my dad. Although after some time nili discover pia aliambiwa na wama daktari. Ah. Although wakanika kuniambia amejua. Yeah, so after kuambiwa I'm positive. Nilianza kuchukua pill the same same day enye nilipimwa. Mm -hmm. Mm, but sasa sikuwa nimejikubali hivyo ni vile madaktari wali insist kabisa. Nikawambia niende ni rest ni jua kama kesho ni taanza but wakaniambia wenda ukunye ukijua we ukiji, ukiji chunguza ujua kama utaendelea kutake pills uwe unaku uwe unakunye. Mm -hmm. So mimi nienda hiyo day nilianza kutake pills hiyo siku. And uh, ilikuwa hard ilikuwa mm. hard kutikiza pills ilikuwa hard ilini, ilikuwa inanishinda because sometime pia ina ni kitu inakufunga mm. because kama umeset ni saa 3 una take pill ni saa 3 every saa eh, every day saa 3 na uta take by then ilikuwa najua sasa nita take for the rest of my life mm. so ni kitu ni ugonjwa unatibu na itawai pona so I had sana. Uh, I thought I even thought of ending my life, mm. but then on, um, watch, uh, let me just live for some time, and then I stopped taking them and died. Oh, no. Yeah. Wakati you did disc disclose this uh, past your past to your father, mm -hmm. how did he take it? Alikuwa mshambu na madaktari that mm. boy HIV. But mm -hmm. did you tell him eventually how did you end up getting HIV and what was his reaction? My dad is Jamambia Kitambo. My dad is Jamambia Juzi Juzi. When he may discover Pierre, when I am not using those pigs, he is Jamambia my father. Na Alisema Aliniambia and Likua Azimu. In which he called me Mambo. Aliniambia, you are Jawai Kiria, eh? I Jawai, you are not a family. So I is a Jew on it to a wapi. I react with buyer, mm. buyer sana. Because pia your story and you uh, post and you talk here, while you pata, when I say my, it is quite a story, buyer sana for family I had. It's like you embarrassing the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Mm. But that is your truth. Yeah, na yun di ukweli. Meanwhile, sasa leo unataki zida, but don't end the next relationship zingine. Okay. Yo time yenye nilipimwa I tunajitanga kujiita kwa mkutano mm. I just nikaenda kwa nyumba peke yangu and I, I thought of how I'm going to live after now ni discover this mm. nikajiuliza tu question am I going to kwekunywa azim kuacha kunywa hizi pills niendelee na maisha yangu kwa naishi I infect people and then definitely ni kufa mm. all nita change life change from when you go to another person 
niendelee kunywa dawa and see what god can do to me because pia nilikuwa amini Mungu by then hata kama sikuwa naenda kanisa and uh, god and his idea i nikamu ku change na nikaanza nikaanza nikapunguza hiyo yenye nilikuwa nafanya hiyo raha nikapunguza mm-hmm. siku wa okay kwa gay means okay by then siku anapenda kufanya kazi because everything na pale everything nataka napata pesa nikitaka napata napigia mtu ananitumia so siku anafanya kazi mm-hmm. so wakati niliamua ku change nilitafuta kazi mahali fulani kwa kaosh ya kupika chapo na hapo ndiyo nilianzia change ya maisha yangu okay yeah did this mean u stop uh, friendship na wale watu walikuintroduce uko ama uli uli badilisha because kama wako na influence kwa life yako na how you, you run your life mm. bado wako na influence on how you going forward despite the decisions you made okay let me say unajua kufanya kitu anything you do wrong inakuanga mostly inakuanga influenced by idol mind mm-hmm. So when you ukitafuta kitu ya kufanya which you keep yourself busy utajiepusha na mambo mbaya. So that's the technique you mean nitumia. I pu, I any kajiweka uh, busy kufanya kazi and earning my money yenye nimesweetia in which naweza kuipangia kuliko ile yenye sijasweetia na pewa na watu. So uh, pia ku change pia ku change pia sometime pia nilitumia like eh ku switch off my phone ku change number nimenika nika kanika kuwa na contact few kwa simu yangu za watu wenye i think wanaweza nisaidia to the next level in okay. maisha mm. na ilifika point hiyo attraction yako towards me nikaisha sasa ukaanza ku feel okay kwa i'm say I kuisha hivyo haraka mm. but uh, that's why nashukuru ngi my my wife just think because alinisaidia ku get out of that life because kama si yeye yeah, maybe I could be there I could be there I could although pia yeah, time nilikuwa na affection mm. I nilikuwa na affection towards men na si kuwa na value sana women hata kama nilikuwa busy na nini na nini I try to najaribu kujiepusha nayo but pia una feel ile feeling this guy is good mm. naka, but yeah. sasa unajaribu kujiepusha. Oh my customer unaona mtu amekuja you feel anaka vizuri. So I wish haraka hiyo. Mm. Mm. mention wife yako. Yeah. So hapo at what point uli, did you meet her? Okay, you know your your time kwa na fanya kazi ya kupata chapati and she was my customer actually alikuwa customer alikuwa hiyo hotel and when i came she became even more kaka sasa customer zaidi so hapo ndio tulianza like kuongea kidogo tukaanza ku ile joke joke tukazoeana to an extent akanio actually alikuwa anafanya kazi ya salon in which ilikuwa karibu na hapo mm. kwenye nilikuwa nafanya kazi so most of the time yenye siko busy nilikuwa naenda hapo kwa kazi yake na tunakaa na big story so i love the way she was uh, a good hearted person alikuwa na roho ya kusaidia na roho nzuri yani eh hiyo ndio ilinivutia kwa kemi say si mambo na urembo sana although i know she is beautiful but pia hiyo good hearted ndio ilinivutia sana okay. sana yeah. sasa so, so ume meet 2019 mm. uli disclose to her that you are trying to struggle with these things ni you trying to leave them ama ulisema tu hii inakufa nayo 2019 mm-hmm. before tuanze kukana because tulikaka kabla tuanze kukana mm-hmm. nilienda hospitali na tukapimwa kuna kitu inaitwa viral load viral load ni kupimwa virus when is go kwa mwili kama they can detect zinaweza ambukiza mtu na toki daktari waliniambia mo okay siezi infect mtu so nikaamua because i don't know how she will take it let me just be in the leg to take dawa ni kwa kushon ku take dawa every day time menye nafaa ku take so that system wambukiza but i'll keep it a secret you were intending to go to the grave with this one yeah 
I was okay. intending a fatali to ni kama tutaishimi ya kambao tuishi but asiwa ijiwa. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. But the uh, issue na gays, gayism, mm, I disclosed to her. Vini tu mbuliko friends ama vini mmenza kudetu? Oki okay, after to make her for some time. But although pia aliniambia she alikuwa anaona. Oh. Yeah, she alikuwa anaona vile na react vile na ka. Mostly men don't behave like that. Wow. Yeah. Never do offend the letter to it. Yeah, she was. Uh, okay, let me say, life, I could say, Ville, Ville to make an eye is funny because come on, a normal person, obviously, as you familiar, as you familiar, your life, mm -hmm. somebody is gay and you guys are very positive. Nabado, I don't know, Najik, familiar, eh. So I see Zangi Kuelezia, what kind of a person, Hatiake Vileiko. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The day she discovered mm -hmm. that you're HIV positive, mm -hmm. you need to go Okay, Kuna, Southern day, I go, I'm sick. I'm gonna, I'm vomit sana. I hope you are going to go to the Vidunda Kongo. So I thought maybe I'm a contact the virus. Mm. So ni kamua chenye kita kuwa hacha well, let me just take her to hospital. Hata kama siyo mi nita mumbia, atambua na oma daktari, mm. act, a react, vile ata react. It's talking means I mejaribu sasa I can't hide it anymore. So hali enda hospitali, na tuka wa tested. Eh, yangu ikakuja positive, yake ikawa negative. Mkumuna testiwa kwa moja sasa yeah, kwa sita? Ya, testiwa kwa haru moja sisi watu wa wili. So, yangu ikawa positive, yake negative. Na daktari, <laughs> daktari ya nishtuka vile, just vina react. Because, aku react nini ya ila kustuka vile mimi ama daktari vile alikuwa na expect. Because wakati daktari ya limuliza, ukigegundua okay, iwa husband akona HIV na we auna unge ungefanya aji. Mm. Ya kamambia hakuna vile mi naweza fanya. Vile tu naweza fanya ni tumuenu tuamini mungu na tuendele kuamba one day atakuwa healed. So she was not shocked at all. At okay. all. At uh -huh. all. Uh, so abiyo alikuwa kuwa kwa daktari ya kam disclose ya kamambia I'm positive and she is not. Mm -hmm. So, after kum disclose ya, haka niambia, she already knew. Kali Julia wako? Uh, when day, ya likuwa anafuwa nguo zangu. Troza, kuna pili moja, nilikuwa nimesa. Au, inuwe, siku, siku taka kitu enye, inaweza kuwa evidence. But, yo siku niliwacha pili moja kwa, kwa troza. Hakifuwa, mm -hmm. haka yona. So, haka irab na tissue. Haka enda kwa beshte yake fulani alikuwa anafanya chemist alikuwa anafanya chemist hapo karibu mm -hmm. akamuliza hii dawa nimeokota kwa nyumba ya beshte yangu ni ya nini so huyo chemist huyo msichana wa chemist akamwambia mwenye ana take dawa ako na HIV na kama unajua huyo person mwenye ako na yeye akamwambia atoroke kama hajapata so she knew before hata nimwambie we, na kandile kukana we before mrudi hospital? Mm, ya. Yeah. Yendole ya kukana mimi. Mm. She... Hata lewa subu ino nikuwa mbiliza. Kama hakuwa na ogopa neneza mbukiza ama amejua already nikonayo. And she, already she, she any hakuwa na ogopa anything. Hakuwa na ogopa anything mm. at all. Okay. Eh. After ile counseling pali hospitali, mm -hmm. mulia muaji, did this discovery affect your marriage? So mulia mwa kumufo wa daji? Let me say I could change anything. Okay. Because vile maisha tukua tunaishi, tuyenerea kuishi the same same life. But now, you may change it because I don't have to hide it anymore. Right. So you feel I can take it. Akiona, she's okay. Yeah, yeah, could take, uh, I could take prep. Oh. She, she was against them. I don't know why, but I am more to act as Chukwa. Yeah. Until Lila time in Makam Kusha story, she acquired a thick bits. Mm -hmm. The prep. Okay. Yeah.
Masha yenu after the discovery nimesema imekuwaaje mme alikudraw towards church ali alikubadilisha aje Okay first thing yenye alifanya kwa maisha yangu ni kuni transform back from so yenu kwa nimeenda against god nimeenda mm, to the dark side because yenu ni dark side of life mm. ali ni drive to a side ingine ya Mungu na since tuanze kwa ndio nimekuwa punctual kwenda kanisa. Yeah, so she was she really insisted hata kama yeye yingine yako busy kwa salon, you say yingine alikuwa anafungua mpaka Sunday and I insist I should go to church hata kama niko peke yangu. Mm. So I change I think alinibadilisha na nikakuwa more religious than I was before. Okay. Okay, since the time to le pimwa na nikamwe kaona aja nitenga ama aja aja change kaona yani ile kama ni mtu wa kawaida unajua ataanza kukuambia hey, hii sahani ni yako hii kikombe mm. ni yako usitumie hizi usitumie hizi ile mm. so nikaona kama anaweza ni accept nikiwa akijua niko hivi so then this a person for me huyo ndio tunafaa ku move na yeye na huyo ndio maisha yangu inafaa kuanza hapa okay yeah so mli move na yeye mwaka gani ilikuwa tafi 2019 mwisho okay. kisha yeah, yeah. Na sasa mko medit for some time. No, no we are too bad to medit for a while. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo ile tata sisi kama inaweza fika 3 months I don't mm-hmm. think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mambo mingi tumekuja kujua ah, wakati tunakaa pa months. Mm. A family yake ile uh, masita zake. I don't know what what but they were against us moving mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. They were against us. I don't know why. But that was, now mm-hmm. bado they are not convinced that I'm a man for their sister. Mm. Are you trying every day to change that narrative with them amo meamua? Okay, ni rijaribu ni kwa them kwa kwa tunaishi like ni rijaribu sana kwa close but then kaona it doesn't change anything. So ni kaamua let's just live our life. So let let them they say what they want. But in the end she has a decision to make I have mine. Mm-hmm. So ile time tutaamua ku quit tukiamua ku quit is about us sio wao watamu. So as now I don't really, let me say si jali sana na mambo yao. Okay. Mm. Na sasa so that mmeishi pamoja na, na kama man and wife. Mm-hmm with or without the support of your parents mm-hmm. what message do you have uh, for your wife who stood by you kwezo challenges zote zenye umepitia unaweza muambia nini okay one thing yenye nimeishi kumwambia kuna wimbo fulani ya regina ina imbango anasemanga anasemanga regina ni msaa wake i think she is my msaa cuz eh, kama sio yeye kama sio eh ndio si kama sio eh ningekuwa that side ningekuwa hiyo mabalo nimeishiyo maisha because yeah injaye kunyonyesha this is not a life unafaa kuishi you need a family you need uh, to have at least some something yenye uh, time yenye utapass at least utaacha something watu wakumbukange nayo so i think she <laughs> Let me say I'm quite too complaint ya maisha yangu since to meet nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does the future hold for you when well, a wife? Una plan to expand your family mna mko na mko na future plans gani? Okay, tuna we have big plans for our life. Mhm. Mm, kama ni because of financial strain kidogo but pesa ikam tunapanga we buy a land build our house and where we're going to be staying na move from there mm-hmm. mm. on august okay to me to go to naka she will really tell me babe nafa wende kanisa you speak your heart out useme what you want then na useme about your hiv status and watch kuria maombi once prayers So amekuwa akinsistio but uh, mimi nilikuwa naogopa sana 
ku open up kwa watu wajue ya maisha hivi so nilikuwa na hiyo uoga but uh, alikuwa ana insist i should go i should do i should do that until let me say si ku open up but hiyo uh, church naenda pastor anaitwa Joel Mandu naitwa spoken word manyo mm. ndio aliniita hapo mbele na akaniambia ameona chekin nisumbua na anataka kuniombea alikuwa ameambia na wewe ya yeah, wife alikuwa ameniambia sana oh. tu ombe about that story because mm-hmm. pia alikuwa na watoto mandoto zenye I think yet time atakuja interview ataeleza hizo ndoto zenye alikuwa anaota mm-hmm. so august 1st ndio niliombewa na since that august 1st 20 20 last year okay last year 2021 believe me or not i've taken no pills up to today Mhm. Uh-huh. Sijakunya ALV pills, sijakunya hizo dawa kutoka hiyo time mpaka saa hii. Na I've done test severely na ime turn out negative. Most ime turn out negative all the time I've done it kutoka hiyo past August. Yeah. Umeenda kwa hospital to fourth to fourth? Nimeenda kadhaa, nimeenda hospitali nyingi sana. Na ime turn out positive negative. Na ma daktari pia ushtuka sometime nikiambia daktari I was testing positive. The decision ya kustop take hizo dawa ilikuwa ya nani? Ilikuwa yako. Ilikuwa yangu. Kwa nini ndio? Ilikuwa ya yake pia. Mm-hmm. Because pia after nimeombewa after nimeombewa nilienda hospitali. Hiyo siku ile niliombewa tulienda hospitali. Ingine na kwetu na private one. Na tukapima nikapimwa ikakuwa negative so nikaiuliza nilikuwa na take pills wakati nilikuwa positive tu kuishi mkumaliza hiyo virus isikuwa ina effect yani si grow si sasa sasa hii haionekani why am i taking them so, but we consult daktari kwa sababu pia wana i didn't consult anyone i didn't consult anyone i made the decision on my own okay yeah and i have here mm-hmm. but nili consult ye akaniambia letas oya acha tu kuzitumia we see we see to mm-hmm. so uh, since then my life has not changed you know kama ukitake pills after ukitake pills and then uziacha for some time unaanzanga ku feel in some una, hata unaweza feel uchungu una feel uchungu but say i don't feel anything and i think i'm okay ah, god has taken me through it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What message do you have to wale couples ambao uh, wanaitwa discord that couple moja me test positive moja me test negative. What message do you have for such a couple wanajaribu kujenga familia? Unaweza waambie nini? Okay, naweza waambia tu eh, trust yourself and trust yourself. Nyinyi wawili tu ndo mlajuana na nyinyi wawili tu ndo mlajua kwenye mnapanga na maisha yenu. So you you should just uh, trust your decision and make decision in your own. Mm-hmm. Don't musiuliza ushauri kutoka nje because watu watawa pinga and in which your marriage yenu mtaivunja na sio mpango wa Mungu mmeivunja mtaivunja kama li, kama li mimi nawaambia like ku advise you naweza waambia tu you have decision of your own musiulize mm-hmm. kutoka watu wengine. Okay. Yeah. Looking back mali ulianzia mm-hmm. kuvia off your path in your wazazi walikulea mm-hmm. would you have changed anything mali ulimaliza from four kupatana na bad company what would you have changed i would have actually singeenda kwa singeenda kwa hii kuishi na marafiki kama sasa niweza rudisha hiyo life back singe afadhali ingeishi na my dad because angenichunga na hiyo kitu ingeo why ni happen here na pale pa ku disclose your status to your wife when you met her the first would you have changed that too <laughs> I should I but of single why disclose to her because first of all nilikuwa na ugafa nilikuwa na mpenda na since your time yenye nilikuwa gay mm, she was first person a woman mwenye nilikuwa na feel affection nilikuwa napenda sana 
na nilikuwa naona tu yeye let me say you nilikuwa naona tu yeye na sikuwa natamani any other girl so nilikuwa naogopa nikimdisclose ya nimwambia am HIV positive atanitoka na nitarudi maybe nitarudi back to where mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. yeye sikuwa anataka mm-hmm. yeah so i think bado ningemficha tu <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. Kwa mtu ambaye size ya menda ametestiwa positive mm-hmm. out there. Mm-hmm. Na anashangaa where to start. They are probably feeling this to the way you are feeling that time. Mm-hmm. Unaweza mbia mtu kama huyo umediscover leo, unaweza mwambie nini? Mm, HIV is not a death sentence. There are people who are who have lived for it for more than 20, 30. No, na ishi tu maisha normal. So you should track your doctor we anza to take dawa sa hiyo hiyo umepima ukatana positive anza to take sa hiyo yeah ndio okay. maliza hizo virus ka brazil jazana zaidi yeah recent studies zimeonyesha kwamba mm-hmm. just like when covid ilikuja na variant tofauti pia za hiv zime mutate mm-hmm. na the fact that ume, ume stop to take medication ni ilikuwa protect against the previous variants who mm-hmm. won't in come out to expose to you know the new variants and maybe utashindwa now they're stronger than the previous ones maybe mm-hmm. your immune system itashindwa to fight the new variant una what do you think about that okay according to me mm-hmm. i'm not i'm hiv negative as mm-hmm. for now mm-hmm. so your virus ingine ndo ingia kwa mwili yangu then i have to be exposed mm-hmm and when i say i don't think i can be exposed to as that virus so i don't see my issue that it can affect me because i'm living a life when uh, i'm not exposing myself to as your virus so i think uh, it is not affecting me mm-hmm. any way yeah uli vile uli make decision to start a new life a new chapter mm-hmm uka change namba yako uka mpaka ukahama kwenye ulikuwa unakaa mm-hmm. ukaacha kuishi na wale friends wako mm-hmm. ujapata temptation from other people na how do you handle temptations if, temptation. if it comes up okay temptation ziko mm-hmm. up to now people we always wako tuna meet na wengine around kwa barabara some wako on facebook account yangu they text me but uh, kila kitu kufanya na uh, ukipea kitu time ndio itakuweza mm-hmm. so mimi when somebody text me na naona ni mtu hiyo type simpe yangu time yangu mm-hmm. uh, i try to cut the story short staki ifike to an extent anaanza kunitisha namba ama anataka to meet so that's how my issues are Okay. Mm-hmm. Now if you are copying a job, this is the battle you have every day and you support. Yeah, she knows. And uh, every time pia anaona ana suspect somebody kwa simu, kwa WhatsApp, she takes a step ya kumpigia na kumwambia my husband changed. Oh, yeah. She has done that for niona siku kadhaa kifanya hivyo. You actually allow her to access your phone yeah, and call I, those people. Yeah, yeah. I I don't hide my phone mm-hmm. and then she doesn't. So, we are that open. Wow. To these young people when you are going to na maliza shule sahi because upon your that thing in our be upon your gazing in the take control. Na sasa ambia tu usijaribu kufanya kitu yenye unajua itakuharibia maisha kabisa because there is nothing good any inatoka kwa hiyo maisha there is nothing good every time una una ji expose una ji expose and you utapata hata kama si hiv you get other st diseases unaweza sema relationship yako na babako kwa sasa iko aje my relationship is okay that we and you don't care much at any nasema tu iko tu sawa. Okay. Mm-hmm. Your brothers and sisters relationship is Okay, ya uh, relationship yetu eh me say it kombali so we don't communicate that much not unless any tumeenda nyumbani tukushago that we know tunaweza sem but say mm-hmm. we may even uh, tunaweza maliza at one month without talking. Mm-hmm. So but uh, at jako sana we just okay. Okay. We just in vile tuko busy tuko busy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kwa ule mkenya mwenye anatazama hii show mm-hmm. sasa hivi mm-hmm. na angetaka maybe kukukontact 
unasema una umekuwa ukifanya kazi kwa hotel so mtu akitaka mm. ku contact uko flexible kutuma namba yako mm. out there for somebody to reach you ama can they reach you in any other way um I, actually it's easy is your group anything mm -hmm. i'm uh, i'm very open at a mtu akitaka kujua kwa council don kuuliza anything about me like naweza mwambie so my number mm -hmm. 0741960859 okay 0741960859 Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you Duncan. Kwa mm kuja -hmm. na kutueleza story yako na kwa opening up mm -hmm. and and giving us your experiences with mm -hmm. HIV and how you fought this battle mpaka kwenye umefika sasa hizi. From us ni kukuish all the best to you and your wife. Ile mkitakata kwanza, mkiplan kwanza your family. May God go ahead of you. Na fungue njia awabariki. Asante pia na shukuru kwa hapa mm -hmm. na nafaya kuangalisha watu. Okay. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show. My name is Yvonne Kaura and until next time, bye bye.